Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Well, last time we had several small encounters in the North Sea and also had some fight against the Italian Navy in the Mediterranean. Today we will be continuing this struggle, their struggle for survival, I should say, because in all honesty, it's been fairly easy going so far. I do not expect the enemy to last much longer and hopefully they will start building some new and more interesting designs to fight against. Three convoy battles and an ambush. And we have peace with the Italians and... Well, no offense, but I don't want any of the Italian ships. I do want the money, though, so I get back to uh, 4.7 here. So, yeah, I can continue taking the massive minus 7 million uh, balance loss each month. And that also means that all the encounters that I had are gone. Gone indeed. That is unfortunate. I had hoped at least one or two encounters with the Germans, but hey, you can't have it all. 14 months until my battleships, my new dreadnoughts will be ready. 16 months before the other ones get finished up, and we have some torpedo boats that will finish up a lot faster, fortunately enough. Um... I am going to put all my ships that are not at sea to in being. And look at that, I'm making money again. Nice. Now, Germans. I'm going to send in my dreadnoughts. Only my dreadnoughts, no escort ships whatsoever. Let's see, yes, we got a group of dreadnoughts here as well. Let's send you down to guard the entrance of Emden and Wilhelmshaven. And ooh, how many cruisers do we have here? 13. Yeah, let's split you up, shall we? A few cruisers there. And let's see, Hull, Sunderland, you can have four cruisers as well. So this port isn't that overflowing anymore. Uh, one more, please. Dover, light cruiser, thank you. And the turn. With my dreadnoughts at sea, I'm down to plus two million uh, and we have some meetings coming up. Let's see. Oh, four dreadnoughts against their main fleet. Challenge accepted. So yeah, four inch guns fire at will. Same with the 3-inch guns. Hmm, a damaging hit on my main battery. Wow. First enemy torpedo boat has been neutralized. I'm switching my fire up a bit. Two other targets. Enemy is closing in, so I'm going to veer off. Because I don't want to get surrounded just yet. Of course, being surrounded only means that, you know, you have more targets to shoot at, so that's positive. Anyway, three enemy torpedo boats have been sunk. One has taken severe damage. Let's concentrate fire for a bit. We get enemies with smoke screens coming up, so light cruisers. 
This torpedo group has been uh, neutered and will not be a threat any longer. This light cruiser is a threat though. All guns. All guns. I'm going to start using some of my 13 inch shells for this. I really want that light cruiser group out of here. It's a game a bit too close and it has torpedoes so yeah. Time for them to die. Secondaries, please scare off that torpedo boat. Boom! Main guns on the third light cruiser, please. This one is no longer a major threat. This torpedo boat, however, is getting closer. Come on, kill it with fire. Okay, main guns off again. Secondaries, fire at will. Detach the lion. In fact, detach all ships to turn away from the enemy light cruiser charge. He is not in torpedo range. I managed to dodge it just in time. Okay. Now rejoin. Ramirez will rejoin as well. Lion, you will rejoin the formation momentarily. In fact, you guys try not to hit our own battleship. Thank you very much. You may turn in and you guys reform on the lion. Now let's see. The formation is, of course, utterly broken if you do it like this. Uh, that's a bit frustrating, but hey, can't be helped. Another enemy torpedo boat is gone. I'm focusing my four inchers and three inchers on the Bussard right now, trying to take it down as well. My main guns are, however, taking fire. I don't like that, and I'm a bit worried. And that little bit worry just got a lot bigger because this light cruiser, come on. Come on, battleships, get your act together. Okay, he's breaking off. Target the next one. Yes, I could concentrate my fire until he's dead, but right now, you know, those 4-inch guns are not a main issue for me. So, yeah. He can fall back. I can finish him off later. And we have a flash fire, ladies and gentlemen. That poor light cruiser. Oof. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to detach you from the formation because you're getting way too close to the enemy cruisers and, oh dear, this might be dangerous. Although for, <laughs> well, <laughs> never mind that, it was dangerous, but no longer. Ooh. That poor heavy cruiser, oh man. One moment you're happy, the next you're dead. Enemy ships are so close together that you just target the rearmost ship and you blow up three, four enemy ships uh, in between. Ooh. Let's see if we can cull this group of uh, escort ships a bit. The enemy battleships have been spotted, but, you know, they can hardly hit me. In the meanwhile, i am just massacred a large group of cruisers. And, oh, we got another flash fire. That's the second one already. Okay, I'm going to turn the main guns off again. They're no longer required for this battle. 
for the time being, that is. However, do notice that one of my battleships has a damaged rudder. So that might become an issue later on in this fight. And oh my, another flash fire. <laughs> They're really giving me a uh, fireworks show here. I love it. Another two light cruisers have been disabled. And have been neutralized. Um, this light cruiser is coming too close. Please give her, give her my regards. Him, her, it. Boom! That looked painful indeed. <laughs> Anyone wondering if dreadnoughts are good? Yeah, I think I answered that question here. These enemy pre-dreadnought ships, they're just no match for my dreadnoughts. Sure, eventually they will wither my ships down. Um, 90%, 94%, 87%, 92%. So yeah, I am taking damage. But let's face it, it's nothing compared to the massive losses the enemy is sustaining here. <laughs> I love it. Remind me to turn that 13-inch gun off. This is not necessarily to give me uh, a harder time. I'm more worried about the amount of ammo I have on my 13-inchers, and I want to save them up for when I'm actually a bit closer to the enemy battleships. Or if an enemy ship gets too close, then I gotta turn them on again for some extra firepower, but for now, not gonna use them, if I can. Another two cruisers going down, um, let's see, by now I think I killed like what, half the enemy fleet? 200k damage done versus 3.6k. Yeah, remember last time I said the campaign was, you know, a bit too easy? Um, yeah, I rest my case. The only thing that can really stop me now is me being an idiot myself and charging my dreadnoughts in and getting into enemy torpedo range. However, if I don't do that, yeah, you ain't hurting me. Now, let's see. Um, I'm going to individually assign you some targets. A lion, don't. And I guess we can go to five times speed. This enemy light cruiser has seen better days. This heavy cruiser, well, enemy torpedo boat got too close to you, so... Yeah, that sucks. You know what's gonna happen to you now. Especially if I turn my main guns on for a second. Ah, oh, too bad. But we can also do that trick here. <laughs> Ouch. That was very painful indeed, and oh my, the enemy fleet is spreading out so much. Um, main guns, however, target the first enemy battleship. I'm a bit worried about you, you're getting a bit too close for comfort to the enemy. Let's turn away. Because we got ships here in my flank, I had hoped to cross the enemy T, as it were, and go through 
all the way to the north, but um, yeah, with those ships there, I'm not gonna risk that. First enemy battleship is taking damage. A lot of damage, I can say. First enemy battleship is pretty much disabled. In the meanwhile, my secondaries continue harassing. Oh, look at that. We have another battleship. And that one is a lot easier to hit, the Beowulf. I think Beowulf has seen better days. Keep an eye out on that little guy there. Come on, Dreadnoughts. Where are my big 13-inch boom? I want to see some big explosions come up. Huh, 61 damage. Okay. 400. That's a bit better. Okay, but not good enough. Not good enough. I really would have liked to actually kill that battleship on this uh, pass. Taking out an enemy battleship would be really helpful right now. Yeah, we pretty much passed the enemy battleship, so secondaries. Return to the enemy escort ships, please. And cease fire with the main battery. Back to secondaries only. And look at that. Is that the end of the enemy line? Yes, please. Enemy is not giving up. They continue to uh, harass me from behind. Um, and look at that. My rudder got damaged. And in exchange, we have another flash fire. 800k damage done. Even if my battleships go down eventually, they will be remembered. That's sad. Let's try not to get them killed. Main guns. We have a new enemy battleship close to us. I'm going to turn my gun main guns on and I'm going to keep them on from this point in time, I think. I'm a bit worried about that last dreadnought there. Enemy battleship will dive into the smoke. It would be nice if we actually, you know, lost sight now and then um, of enemy ships that are inside a smoke screen. Especially, you know, the smaller a ship is, the easier it would be for them to hide in there. That would be kind of cool, I think. Look at that, we got out of range of that massive enemy fire there. So my last dreadnought is still looking good. I am pleased. I'm also pleased that that torpedo boat is gone and there is nothing on my left side anymore. Um, whoops, main guns, continue harassing that battleship please. And if you accidentally hit that light cruiser, I wouldn't mind either. Oh, yes, please. Flooding damage? I'm not in torpedo range, am I? No. These guys are pretty old. 
and don't have torpedoes. Ooh, 75 structure remaining. Yeah, that's by far the most damaged of my vessels. The enemy seems, you know, they continue moving um, to the southeast, basically. I wonder if they're in retreat, even. It could be. Just look at the amount of damage I've done. It would make sense. However, I gotta give it to the AI. They're closing in on the 10k. <laughs> look at that. Their four inchers are the only dangerous guns they have. These guys, Mark II's. Their battleships, they, they have Mark I turrets. We're in, what, 1904? And you're using Mark I 12 inchers. I'm sorry. Are you suicidal? Their chance to hit is pretty low as well, and look at that, some of their battleships actually are running out of ammo. They run out of HE ammo already. Um, yeah, that's bad. Now, come on, focus fire, kill the battleship, speed up the game, let's go. Also, look at that, the enemy is turning. This is unfortunate, because that means I gotta take evasive maneuvers as well and prepare for another group of torpedo boats that might close in on me. Please hit the torpedo boat. Oh, oh my god, look at that enemy torpedo boat north of me. Another hit on that battleship. It is going down. One more flood should do it. Yes, she is gone. Main batteries. And you? Oh, thank God, it's one of the heavily damaged torpedo boats. So, one that I damaged earlier. My battleships are starting to show. They've been under fire though. Another torpedo boat showed up, another damaged one. Yeah, we can break away in that direction for now. Let's continue going. The 587 has seen better days. Focused fire for my 13 inch guns, short range. Yeah, it's uh, very deadly indeed. Of course, the enemy is returning fire now, and as you can see, my ships are taking damage as well. Especially this one. I might actually be tempted to uh, start taking her out of the line and retreating her. Very tempted indeed. Now, come on, finish off this battleship. Sure, it's no big threat, but it still has guns. The less guns it has, the better. Frontal ship. Kill that torpedo boat, if you please. Another cruiser went down. This one, I think, yeah. And, ooh, look at the Hanover. <laughs> Hanover has taken massive hits here. What happened to you? Oh, some 13 inchers really ruined you. Same with the 118. Wow, that looked very painful. Okay. In terms of speed, we're still looking okay. We are noticing we can no longer do the 25 knots, however. But... <laughs> Still looking good. Let's turn in a bit towards the enemy. And the other ships may... Well, first of all, start targeting you. Main guns, continue harassing the battleship, please. But I want this torpedo boat to be gone. My ships have damaged rudders and can't really turn fast anymore. 
So this guy suddenly became a threat. Five times speed, please. Keep going. And this torpedo boat is a goner. And these guys, let's see. You want to target the heavy cruisers? No, 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 no. You target the battleship with your mains and the light cruiser with your secondaries. The enemy fleet has been decimated. After this battle, they'll... They won't be a threat to me... Uh, for the next couple of years. Okay. You have done your duty. You may fall back to the third line. And another heavy cruiser is gone. Unfortunate for the heavy cruiser, he got in the way of the Hanover, I think. Let's see what we still have. Still a pretty potential enemy fleet. Um, and in all honesty, if the enemy fleet would, you know, just charge in, they if they would all charge me, they would kill me. I said it time and time again. However... Fortunately for me, that is not the case. Unfortunately for the enemy... I'm going to turn my ships around. Rather than continue at the uh, side here, I'm going to turn back on myself and hit those cruisers and then get that battleship. That is what I want to do, at least. Let's see if I can pull it off. We still have 200 rounds on that warship. This one is a bit lower on the HE. This is looking fine and this is looking fine as well. However, do notice how close the enemy escort ships are getting. So, I want all my secondary fire there for a moment. to remind them not to get too close to real ships. Okay, you got damaged, you got damaged as well, and you have an engine out. Perfect. Well, let's not do that, shall we? Whoa, enemy heavy cruiser, too close, too close, all guns. Fire at that heavy cruiser. Bring it down. Bring it down. Oof. We're in torpedo range. And he sank. Woo! Lucky. Um, keep an eye on that torpedo boat, if you please. And main guns. Target the battleship and fire. Enemy torpedo boat is taking damage. Also notice it has a 1.2 kilometer range on its torpedoes. Standard torpedoes, 16 inch. The... S-96, uh, on the other hand, has 15-inch torpedoes, 0.9 kilometer range. So that's the difference of having a bit bigger torpedoes at your disposal. Oof, enemy battleship took some real hits there. And yeah, the torpedo boat went down. Good. However, there's another one. And we have a flooding on one of my battleships. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is the first flooding I'm actually receiving. Yeah. 
Well, enemy battleship should be down. I'm going to, yeah, change firing at the enemy light cruiser. And after that, maybe this battleship. Oh, and you guys do finish off the torpedo boat. Was that friendly fire there? No, no it wasn't. For a moment I thought... <sighs> That's more like it. Hit the enemy ships. Let's see, my battleships are really taking a pounding though. Let's face it. <laughs> they will all be in dry dock for several months. Ah, oh, that was a shame. We missed the battleship. You guys turn in. Once that battleship is gone, I should have a clear path, I think. It will be the last of the enemy battleships, and we got another flooding. What happened? Oh, sweetheart, where are you going? Detach. Is that battleship a goner? Yes, it is a goner. Another battleship eliminated, ladies and gentlemen. So, seal clubbing. I like it. Don't get surprised by this torpedo boat though. Secondaries, deal with it. Um, well, you got a better angle at this ship, so... Well, not that it's really required anymore. <laughs> Is that torpedo boat gone yet? No. Should I really go for my main guns on this? You're getting too close, so yeah. Bring her down, bring her down, bring her down. I'm well within torpedo range. Come on. She needs to die, and she needs to die yesterday. Oh, thank you. No torpedoes have been fired. Things are looking good. Oh, look at the amount of ships remaining on the enemy side. And we're closing in once more on the 500k. Come on. 9k to go. We can do that. And thank you for not having friendly ramming damage. The sound alone is just horrifying. I really don't like that sound. It uh, gives me the shivers now and then. Enemy is charging the lion in the meanwhile. Not too worried. However, I rather not. The damaged rudders of my ships make it <laughs> pretty hard to keep them in formation now. I guess it does show one of the main weaknesses of these uh, dreadnoughts. Their rudders are fairly easily damaged. Target that one. You may target. Oh well, target that one instead. And main guns, secondary guns. Go, go, go. This has been a slaughter, and this slaughter has brought to you by the United Kingdom. 
Rulers over the Seven Seas. We have detected an enemy battleship. There are still battleships in this game. Oh my. I honestly thought I killed them all. Not been paying attention to the uh, icons, I suppose. Um, enemy cruiser and light cruisers are getting a bit close to me. And without rudders, it's almost impossible for me to change course. Whoa, there are even more cruisers there. Ah, oh, here I thought I was almost done. Still, we have one hour remaining uh, in game time. And, you know, around 10 minutes of uh, recording remaining. So, yeah, looking good. <laughs> the lion really has issues turning. Oh. This is bad. Um, you secure the rear, please. Come on. One cruiser gone. These light cruisers are in range of torpedoes. Uh, I might, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get in range of that torpedo there. You know what, how about we turn in the other direction. One, two, three ships, and number four is still going strong in this direction. However, it does need to kill the torpedo boat. Fairly quickly as well. Did you launch torpedoes, by the way? No, you didn't. Good. Good. I won't be able to finish off the entire enemy fleet with only 58 minutes remaining of in-game time. However, look at the damage that I have done. 550. Enemy has done 18k. <laughs> If these were real seals I would be clubbing right now, then, oh, I would have had some nice mantles now. Disclaimer, I'm against seal clubbing in real life. Just saying. Okay, main guns. And uh, you know what? Secondaries. Yeah, go on that light cruiser. Why not? And we can go back to five times speed. Huzzah! Ammo status, still looking good, but I must say I was very pleased with my decision to turn these 13 inch guns off for a while. It's, it, it, it would have been really tricky otherwise. Can we get a double kill? Yes, we can. Look at the damage on these ships. They will be out for at least 8 to 12 months, I think. I know there should be a way to calculate it. Um, one month for every for X percentage of structural uh, integrity, but I can't be bothered to look it up. This is just a... Well, educated guess. Another heavy cruiser goes down. And with that, there are no more enemy ships nearby. There is an enemy formation there. Um, two battleships and some escorts. Let's see if we can uh, get closer again and hit them. We have 50 minutes remaining. Five times speed, let's go. Uh, 
I must say, despite um, the lack of damage on the enemy side, I, I did really enjoy this fight. Maybe I should do this more often. Send out small groups of battleships. Um, it was really enjoyable. For me, at least. <laughs> Not for the AI. These poor, poor bastards. Two enemy battleships spotted. They're holding position. Um, I wonder why. I wonder how. And main guns on the enemy battleships, please. I'm going to hold my course. I'm somewhat confident enough that my battleships will be able to deal with those light cruisers before I come too close. I guess they have a formation error. They have uh, evasion on and that's why they uh, held their position. However, now they should start moving. If not, <laughs> they'll be in a world of pain, especially the Beowulf. In the meanwhile, this light cruiser is getting peppered by my secondary guns. However, these two have already passed the danger of the light cruiser, so target the torpedo boat. Ooh, good hit, good hit, the straight case made gun. Come on. Another cruiser goes down. Um, you fire your secondaries at the second cruiser. Who knows? Maybe you'll get a kill. It would be nice to actually have a um, kill log of your vessels. So, you know, um, if I click um, the lion in the campaign screen, I can actually see that it destroyed the cruiser 222, for example, you know, um, it would give a bit more flavor to the ships and to the campaign itself as well. It's one of the things I uh, enjoy in Hearts of Iron, uh, for example. Um, they do that there and I, I, I really like it. It's really gives me, you know, a role-playing chance, um, I suppose, with my ships, and um, it would mean, it means a lot more if a ship goes down, if, if, if you know its history. I mean, sure, take the Howl, for example. Yeah, she's had some fights, I know she has, but what did she do exactly? I don't know. I gotta look back all the recordings to find out. Um, check a log, just a log like this, but then instead of a battle log, a, a fight log. Uh, June 1902, the Howe engaged a enemy light cruiser and sank her. Light cruiser was named X or Y. Things like that. That's what I would lo love to see. But also a list that um, shows all the ships you lost. You know, if uh, the lion certainly has a uh, breakdown of uh, stowage safety and she goes up in flames, then I want to be able to see the logs and revisit the destroyed ship there. See what she did, see how she died. Especially for uh, st streaming and or recording purposes, that would be really cool. You, you, you can really make some fun things that way. And from the looks of it, it seems this. Is this the last? No, it's not the last of the enemy cruisers, but it's close. It's getting really close. D 
Delipe is going down. And I think this, let's see, we got four sinking ships. I think this is the last of the enemy ships. We have 28 minutes remaining. And if this is indeed the last of the enemy ships, then I sank their entire fleet. For what losses? My battleships have a third of their HP is gone. 60% or else in 40%. Yeah. This, my friends, is the power of a dreadnought. In real life, it was pretty much the same as well. Once the HMS dreadnought entered service, everything else was obsolete. This battle is the perfect example. The enemy is obsolete. They deserve to die. They deserve to have eternal rests. 11% chance to hit, 10% here. Should get closer, should get higher, pardon me, uh, as I get closer. I'm almost tempted to let her live. You know, one enemy ship that survives. While the entire armada has been decimated. Who knows, if this was a ship with a proper name, I might have. However, the 390 has no right to live with that name. And look at that, it's one of the oldest holes as well. Oh, you poor bastards. But at least you have a superstructure. Unlike most of the AI ships. And she fights to the last. Ladies and gentlemen. Please pay your respect for the German Navy. In the comments down below. For they will have lost so many men. So many lives. <laughs> They deserve at least our respect for that. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh my god. 16,000 crew members have been killed. Versus 1,100 on my side. 34,103 victory points. Oh my god. 68 vessels destroyed. The list just goes on forever. If anyone ever thought um, when I first designed these ships that these dreadnoughts were outdated and that their design was bad, think again. And with that, six months, six months, five and six months repaired costs, repaired time. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, comes an end to this episode. We decimated the German Navy. They have around 20, 30 ships remaining. I don't think they'll even have the crew to rebuild a fleet anytime soon. This war is over. Thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time when we finish off the german navy once and for all until then goodbye <laughs>